Larson. Uh, he got top eight at the OCS Championship here at St. Louis Park, uh, Minnesota, uh, using Paleozoic Frog. Yeah, it just keeps getting worse, guys. I always think I'm going to get there, and then I don't get there. But soon enough, this is my day. It's my baby. I will never put her down. But uh, anyways, to the list. It worked pretty well today. Uh, we'll start with, we got three swap for out of the way. Uh, MVP, of course, my boy. Uh, three Duke Frog, because he's good. Double Ronin. Uh, fun fact, I actually banished uh, two Ronins off of Desires today, and I still won just because like, the Paleo cards are so good. Uh, for the spells, we got Trace Desires. A lot of people aren't a huge fan of this. Um, I like it. You generally just banish the other two off one, and you want to see it because it just extends into more interruptions for you. Because in this format, three interruptions is almost never enough for you to actually like stand going through like maybe a Shadal invoked player or a Spiral player. Like you have to have four plus, in my opinion. At least as a control player, I don't know. It, it, little little thing for me. Uh, one demise because it's at one. Uh, it worked pretty well today. A few occasions where it kind of cucked me, but I still won the games anyway. So I was like, whatever. And then uh, one goat because I've gone back to playing this in the main. It just sacks you wins. It's so good. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the spells. Uh, the trap lineup. We've got Uno, Dose, Trace of the best trap in the deck. This card is insane. Um, I can't count the number of occasions where I've trap tricked in evenly on my opponent's battle phase. So then just the end of the battle, I can just like, you know, make them lose, basically. But uh, yeah, this card was amazing, as always, you know. Uh, Uno. Dose, choice of the best uh, Paleozoic trap in my opinion right now. Just banishing either like the power one ups in the um, in like the spiral matchup or in the Orcus matchup, or just this just being spot removed for anything is really good. Uh, ended up actually down on Miska seeing a um, resort today and it was like fucking amazing. Uh, triple O, no, it's, it's the most flexible one. You can pop your opponent's stuff or your stuff, and you'll just be able to chain the payloads off and grave if they're not doing anything, because Lord knows they'll stop them from doing stuff half the time. Uh, triple Canadia, honestly, performed, like, overperformed today. This card was insane. Just Book of Mooning stuff is, like, still good in 2020. <laughs> and the fact that it is another level 2 Aqua-type water monster uh, that just uh, helps you access your Toad and, like, Marincess Mar plays is pretty good. Uh, we got Triple Imperm is the only hand trap. Uh, I'm running another thing that's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, this card's good. It, it will always be good. Uh, triple evenly matched in the main. Amazing. So amazing. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better card to put in the main. It honestly isn't even that bad opening going first because if they break through your back row, like like half the common excess format can, you just um, lean back on this and it works. Uh, we got double compulsory evacuation device because I'm uh, not a huge fan of three. Two, it's still trap trick if you need it. You can bounce your own stuff if you're locked under mine and you really can't see a back row removal uh, trap. But besides that, like it's just good removal again. It's trap trick too. You can target your own stuff. So. Double Duster, because I don't feel like three in the main is important right now. Uh, the, the third is in the side, but yeah, it, it worked just fine, actually. Uh, double Judgment, again, because uh, there's a little bit of a reason behind this. Again, not a huge fan of three Judgment in the main right now, but there's kind of like a pseudo third Judgment in the main for a specific, like, uh, for, for a specific instance. But, uh, two, two Judgment in the main. Uh, triple Goat Continuous Spell of the Day. Oh my god, this Floodgate is incredible. So good this format. Any Paleo player that is like confident in winning die rolls, please play this card. This card is insane. It's just like, it shuts off so many power decks. And if you just happen to run into like a Lunalite or a Pendulum player, it's, it's already good right there, but it just... It, it helps you so much in like the grind game against Spiral, against Sal Mangrate. It helps you so much in like the Shadal invoked, uh, or just even Shadal in general. I played against Necroz today, and this just like won me the whole match. Insane card. And then the pseudo pseudo solemn judgment was um, Imperial Order. 
because my idea was uh, Lightning Storm is going to be a popular card, and this prevents the Lightning Storm from actually even resolving, and let alone any spells the opponent wants to play. So this was kind of like my pseudo third judgment, I guess. Uh, there is a third judgment in the side, but this came up actually quite a bit. Uh, for the extra, we have not one, not two, but three totally awesome. So. Shout out to Zeef again. Oh, notice me, Senpai. Uh, oh, fuck. Got that part out. <laughs> uh, three totally awesome. Pretty good card. Um, really, uh, can't really be power creeped, honestly. Like, he just gets better and better as, like, more and more just equalizer cards are released. Like, I stole a mind control today, and that felt pretty good when I just mind controlled my opponent's monster and started linking away with him and shit. Like, it, just stealing stuff and negating activations is, like, super important. And it's just a good card. Uh, advantage, recursion, amazing. Uh, we got... One javelin, because it was either this or Crumbalolos, and I like this because it actually gets you out of weird uh, situations with big monsters. Uh, this deck sometimes struggles getting over big monsters, but uh, instead of Crumbalolos, because, like, yeah, he's got a base stat of 22, but he also, like, just negates the effect of the face-up card. He specifically says monster, but it also drops their attack to zero, which is nice, because if I ever need to swing over anything, it, it pretty much it comes in clutch. Uh, and then one Opal Benia, super good. Oh, my God. Just the setups with this card and having, like, four interruptions in and just because of the paleo traps and being able to activate them from the hand and dodge around stuff like lightning storm and evenly so good did that at least three times insane um, it does take a little bit of like skill to do that just because you have to manage your resources pretty well and you're, you're literally surviving up a 24 booty but if you do it smart it's so good um, for the links we've got uh, for the link force uh, the two big boys uh, ended up making both of them quite a bit today um, stole a oh who did I steal I stole something good, whatever. Uh, st stole a few monsters today, uh, OTK'd a few people today, pretty good. Uh, overall, I, I'm not cutting them because I'm also running the scapegoat, you know. Uh, for Link 3s, just the one Nightmare Unicorn. Yeah. Unicorn's good. Uh, link 2s, we got the one Sir and the one Phoenix. Phoenix is in here as utility. Serp sometimes comes up, but it's mainly just for Link climbing into Warlord or Moral Sword. Uh, just generically decent cards. Uh, the draws are nice too, and being able to pitch Paleo Traps or Ronin's under the game is cool. Uh, we're link two, we got two an enemy, monster reborn, and just like extends your play. And one missed our boy because sometimes you do actually need it for the two separate arrows if you either want to do double toad or if you need to spring over something that's just like a little bit too big for you. Also, you can choose to end in the missed our boy with the anemone combo, but sometimes you want to just keep the anemone and save the resource. So it's just, uh, it's just there. It's utility. And for the last links, we have one link spider and one link Karibo for the uh, scapegoat because these help you get uh, wind cons on the board, which is nice. Uh, side deck. We have uh, double game of seal. Uh, my opinion on this card goes back and forth. Today it was really good. No, it's not. Basically, it's another water for you to pitch up swaps and make it totally awesome. And it can pretty much fully break like a spiral player's board or like even a guru player's board if they don't open a judgment. You can just kaiju over the guru and then even the end. But um, yeah, this card's just good spiral removal. And if you, you end up going first, if you think you're gonna go second, you can always just pitch a soft swap for your toes. Which is just, uh, Trip, Bulldrill, Mockbird. Didn't see it today, but it has always been good. Uh, without the, within the last like month and a half, I've been playing it. It's just been amazing. Uh, good card. Good card. Uh, double Inspector Border. <laughs> Saw it once and it got kaiju. So, you know, in theory, amazing. Uh, but it just didn't come up today. But I'm, I'm still going to keep it in here. It's, <laughs> it's very good. You can still make your toads under this just because of the paleos and stuff. So, it's nice. Uh, we got Triple Artifact Sanctum in the side. Feels weird, but the reasoning behind it is because we were playing two Lancias and a Scythe. Uh, the way this works is you kind of can side in. This side works for going first and second. 
which sounds weird because the Lancias sometimes are just good in specific matches, but it's also anti evenly, and that's like huge. Um, and these, you can just trap trick this in. Uh, you, can, you can either just trap trick these in and then spec him tribute to stop the vanishing, or you can also throw in the scythe if you want if you're going if you think you're gonna go first. Uh, I found myself actually signing all six of these today a few times and just like being amazing. I've popped my own scythes just to. I've opened scythe, sanctum, and olenoids, and like they just pretty much screwed. It's fucking great. For the last cards in the deck, we've got one Judgment and one Duster uh, to complete the play set for control matchups and uh, for going first and walking into even leads and playing all stars, basically. Uh, and that is it for the deck profile. Alright, cool. Um, you have any shout outs at all? Yeah, shout out Nucci uh, for beating me in the top. Uh, what would have made me go in the top four? Shout out him. Uh, his first event back, and I got top four and got his invite. Really impressive player. Mm. Shout out Todd for driving us up here, you know. Shout out Isaac for doing like incredibly well at his first competitive event. He got he got like X two, I think he got ninth or tenth place, like super good first time. Uh, he's playing Draco though, so he's brain dead. But like, good job. <laughs> and uh, shout out Evan for giving me these tokens a long ass time ago. I still love you, man. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, I use these every time I play any deck I can summon uh, like tokens in general. And yeah, that's, that's about it. Alright, so I'm gonna break your Nico Nico fucking knee camps. If you talk shit about Draco again. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> <laughs>